Hey, um, I tell you what I'd like to do because I love street racing. And I, will I um, want to do more of it, but I'd like to shout out the top fifteen because okay, please. Because I've got it, 15. I've got it right here. And, and can, can we have one fact for every person in the top fifteen? Please? No, Thank I wouldn't you. be able to. The, 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 it's like <laughs> such. No, but it's it, there's so much talent, and it's like that they're, they're from a like they literally train for street racing. Yeah. So it's I wouldn't be able to give you a a, a fact about them. It's uh, so Jonah Jones in fifteenth, Fabian Alcantar, Mario Joan, Bruno Lavinia, La, Lavagnino. Okay. Alberto, Nicholas, Adrian, Laron. Like, they're just people worth looking out for following on Instagram because if you see some of the street races content, like there's ones, there's people it, missing from this. Pedro so Ferreira is where, missing. Where from else it. are they riding this stuff? Is it like, how are they training for it? On the streets. And that's why it makes them all really good followers. Like, this, like honestly, not necessarily all of them. You know, you've got like Laron, who yeah. is obviously just. Crankworks guy normally. In. in Incredible all-round bike rider. I mean, he rides dirt jumps and amazing yeah. and downhill. Um, Bernardo Cruz, I don't know, if he's like a World Cup legend. Mm. Um, Gabriel Giovannini, Geronimo Paez, Lucas Borba, he's quite a street race specialist. Yep. Camilo Sanchez, another street race specialist. I mean, these might be new names to you. They're not, they're, they're like established, dude. They're not new names in that community. Nah, nah. Or he, yeah. I mean, have you heard of Pedro Ferreira? Yes, but only through street races. Okay, there you go. Well, yeah. if you look at Pedro Ferreira, he has... Let's have a look. Pedro Ferreira is like... Um, has some unreal like uh, street race content on his mm. profile. He's got 1.2 million followers. And no doubt, <laughs> probably a lot of our listeners might not have ever heard of yeah. him. So this is like a... Uh, but it's so relatable, this thing. Yeah. That's why... You Mate, could show this to anyone. Dude, it's Danny Mac on a... Yeah. It's the downhill version of Danny Mac on a phone box. It is. Yeah. Lots of people ride trials. Danny does it on something that you understand. And like what we were talking about with Hansi, weren't we? Yeah. Exactly that. And yeah, watch some of like Pedro's content or any of these guys. I'm going to carry on through the list. Please. It's, it's mind-blowing them practicing as well. It's so cool. So Camilo Sanchez, he won last year. I mean... Dude, if you want if you want like enthusiasm from a race run, watch his race run. It's insane. Oh. Felipe Agurto, his technique um, on a bike, you can't think that he's not gonna. I thought he was gonna win, honestly. Um, I saw he went in a hot seat. He made good time yes. on prior rider. Yes, and it just looks so convincing and clean his run. I just my notes it says Philip Philip Philip, sorry Felipe Agurto, gnarly fast. That's all I wrote. Unreal, yeah. But yeah, look how strong he is in looks the turns. Fast. So many G's in the turns, like mm. yeah, amazing rider and uh, lovely chap as well. Obviously, we got Thomas Slavic, who we all know he's got rainbow stripes coming out of his ears. But uh, he was in third, so we're now on the podium. Yes. So Slavic in third, hyped to see him back there. Sebastian Holgen, he's in second and one for Vales in first. Like, if you can follow any of these guys and watch them bombing down streets then uh it, you you won't be uh you won't regret it it's something really cool to follow certainly i i love following it i think it's so, such yeah. a rad series obviously i'm going to be a fan but i it's it's uh genuine my fandom it's the, when's the cool. next one it's ages away i think it's like six months or something which yes. is a bit of a shame yes six months but i'd yeah, like but to I mean, moving forward more more of a, more of a series more thought. well i i really hope so i think it's so exciting um and um, it's so real as well. It's not like, you know, like that snow race that happened. It doesn't feel like anyone does it. These these boys do it. Yeah. And it means something. And it's like, you, you only have to watch, you only have to watch the uh, race runs. To yeah, know it's great. This is exciting. We'll put a link in the show description. For yeah, them. absolutely. If you haven't seen it, we'll put it down there. Yeah. Because again, good to watch, free to watch, YouTube. Yeah. Killer. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Big yeah, fan. no, I'm really excited. It's six months until the series ends and I'm, I'm really hoping that Red Bull extend the series next year. And, um, you know, it's something you can bring all over the world and it has really good positive impact. I mean, we did Medellin and there's now a riding scene. And like when I first went to Taxco, the race had already been going, but there's like a riding scene of kids riding in the streets. You know, they've seen some of the best in the world come down the streets and now that's what they do. And yeah. Like, how cool is that? That's cool. Like you see street bikes, street, street race bikes in all of these cities, downhill bikes with like, 
you know, str- pumped up they're tires. literally <laughs> made for the streets. They're not riding dirt yeah, turns yeah, and stuff. Yeah. It's literally for street racing. So that's rad. Very That's a great cool. thing, really cool. Do you want to do some actual listener questions as well? Yeah, why not, so dude? Why not? There. We got time, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, People are still listening, aren't they? Watching? Maybe. Hey, man, what an episode that was. You did amazing in it. And so did you. You shone like a star. You shone like a moon. I shone like a focus spring deal. Oh, yeah? beautiful good. transition. Right, I've got a question for you, David, to kick this final advert off. Yeah. What would you do... With up to four hundred euros, yeah. If you got it back when buying a bike, ooh, I could stay in the bike shop and spend my four hundred euros on accessories. Good point. Support your local bike shop. Great point. I could take the four hundred euros and go to another shop close by. Maybe buy four hundred euros of pasta. Maybe go to the euro Here's store, get four hundred euros, and just that's Christmas done for eternity. True. Just keep handing them out. Lottery every year. tickets. Yeah, beans, tires, um, chamois cream, a new pet. A new pet, perhaps a water dragon or an iguana. (laughs) Lovely idea. Well, Focus are actually making that question a reality. Nice. Because with the Focus Spring deals, Mm -hmm. you can grab up to 400 euros back when buying a new bike. If you want to find out more, check out the terms and conditions and all of the details in the link. We're going to put that below and I'm also going to read it out. Please. Okay, you ready for me to read it out? Yes, I'm in. This is old school, in it? Reading out links. Yeah, anticipation. I'm going to do it anyway. Please, do I'm it. I'm doing it. I want the deal. Ride.focus.bikes forward slash spring deals TRC. Ooh, nice. So that is ride.focus.bikes forward slash spring deals TRC. And let us know in the comments what you would do with 400 euros. Best answer wins a signed O-Dub hat. Oh, I like it. Good. All I've right. got hats. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm good okay. for that. Okay. Hey, can we also put something up here that you can click yep. on for the next episode? How about we put a subscribe up there in the middle? Yeah, I love it. We're going to put a video we think that our uh, lovely companionship yep. will love yep. on your face. On oh, my face? Yeah. So and on can't my... see me now. Gone. And on my face, another video that we think people will love. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please hit like and subscribe. You guys are the best. Peace and love.